Hi, my name is Aubrey Hearn, and I wanted to give you a Q4 update on the CI US Equity Fund. Despite a weaker November, which was characterized by fears over the new COVID-19 variant and increased inflation, U.S. equities, as represented by the S&P 500, was up 11% in U.S. dollar terms, or 10.7% in Canadian dollar terms. At a sector level, the top performing sectors for the quarter included information technology and real estate, while energy and financials underperformed during the quarter. During Q4, the CIUS equity fund was up 7.7%, slightly underperforming the category. Over 2021, the fund is up 24.2% versus 23.5% for the category, and we're quite pleased with the fund's performance this past year. We continue to build on our track record of success, and since inception back in May of 2011, the CI US Equity Fund was up 366%, outperforming the category by close to 75%. During the quarter, we had a couple of contributors as well as a couple of major detractors. The contributors were Alphabet and Brookfield Asset Management. Brookfield Asset Management continue to thrive as there's a very robust fundraising environment for private equity firms at the moment. In terms of the detractors, one of the detractors was Medtronic and the other one was Fiserv. Medtronic's performance uh, was negative during the quarter due to concerns over the COVID variant, further delaying non-elective procedures, which we think will come back during 2022. During the quarter, we added Starbucks to the portfolio and we added a new position in Starbucks because we thought the fundamentals of Starbucks will continue to improve as the economy continues to reopen. We continue to monitor risks in the portfolio and we position the portfolio to outperform in a number of various market conditions. The possibility of elevated inflation and supply chain disruptions persisting for longer poses significant risks and will be most damaging to businesses lacking pricing power. We have placed a focus on businesses with flexible supply chains and pricing power to avoid pressure from cost inflation. We're also monitoring U.S. trade tensions, volatility in energy prices, and record high federal debt levels. Despite these risks, we remain fully invested and are optimistic on the outlook for the U.S. economy and equity markets in 2022. Thank you.